This is where I am right now. So, yeah, amazing. Look at all this behind me. Wow, this is dramatic. While driving from Las Vegas, Nevada to St. George, Utah, I decided to stop off at Valley of Fire State Park to camp and do some exploration. In particular, I wanted to see the many petroglyphs that were known to be in the area. One in particular, called Atlatl Rock, was very well known for some amazing petroglyphs. So I camped just outside the state park boundary on BLM land and took my scooter into the park to find them. My awesome little scooter, it kind of fits into the Valley of Fire. You come down here and it's just all these incredible rock formations. At Laddle Rock, the largest and most well-known petroglyph site in the Valley of Fire National Park, was just a half a mile from these rock formations. So I am in Valley of Fire State Park in Nevada. And behind me is a rock, set of rock formations where there are a bunch of petroglyphs. And uh, we're gonna go over there and explore them. This whole area is just amazing. And it is really bright. It's kind of hot today. So I have my crazy shades on and this towel uh, to try and protect my back. But yeah, so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna take a look at this. So right around over here, you can obviously see the steps that go up to some petroglyphs, but apparently all along the base there are some. So we're going to backtrack to the steps and we're going to come back to those. I want to come down to the rock face here. Okay, so they're supposed to be, oh yeah, I see some already right along here. Look at that. Wow. Petroglyph forms were all over, in many cases quite obvious ones, and in others more subtle. It was clear that along the length of this rock face that weather over long periods of time had removed many of the original forms. In many instances only a ghost of a form could be seen, with the most prominent ones in the darkest parts of the rock, which were highly worn in many areas. Okay, I can kind of see some more up at the top there. And it kind of looks to me like just over the course of time, some of this has weathered away. And so there may have been more here. Yeah, because it's in the rock, the black part of the rock that you can clearly see it. Look at that up there. Some of that has probably just weathered away over time. So you can see behind me that rock face there. Look at that whole bunch behind me there. Okay, look at these up top here. And then over here, there's this big slab, huge slab of them. I would love to have seen these for the first time. Like, Look at that thing. That's crazy. Wow. This entire rock face. I had to climb up a bit to get to these. Just amazing. That is absolutely impressive. So I've managed to come into the shade where it's not quite as bright. This is incredibly impressive. So we're gonna come over and we're gonna continue. So look at all of this. That's amazing. So we're gonna to continue to kind of go explore all of it. Look at this rock formation. There's an arch over here too. You 
can see these all over there. Look at those. Amazing. Okay, so there, there are some others that I'm seeing that I'm approaching up here. We're going to come and take a look at these. Wow. There's a whole other set up here. Wow. Oh, wow. These are awesome. In another video that I did on the petroglyphs that I went to in northern Arizona, I mentioned that there were forms seen in petroglyphs all over the planet. And some of these forms are sitting right here in front of you that a plasma physicist named Anthony Peratt recognized. And he's written a series of papers documenting that these are actual plasma forms that were manifested in the sky many thousands of years ago because of maybe like a massive solar outburst or something. Much like we have the Aurora Borealis are forms like that in the far north, but something would have happened people all over the planet would have seen. So now we're going to come over and we're going to explore that ladder that takes us up to a bunch of more petroglyphs up on the high rock art or on the high face of the rock. Doing okay? <laughs> okay, here we are. Look at these over here. The starburst that you see right there. So I'm, I'm just kind of looking around and I suddenly look up on the rock face over there. Just a whole slew more of them. I'm sure a lot have weathered away. People climbed up there. That is crazy. Amazing. So I have come under this pavilion here in the Atlatl Rock area. And uh, it's quite a bit cooler in the shade, I gotta tell you, but these petroglyphs are just all over the place. They're just all over the place. You're just walking, you look over, and there is a whole slab of petroglyphs. So I'm at the visitor center for the Valley of Fire. Amazing, look at this. A short distance from the visitor center and a dramatic drive up into a small canyon was another smaller petroglyph site and so me and my intrepid scooter went up to find them. So I am in the Valley of Fire still and I am on one of these sort of incredible roadways that just goes through the area. It's amazing. I'm in kind of this valley that the road goes through and it's spectacular. Craziest thing ever. They built a road through here and I've managed to stop while there's a little bit of a break in the traffic and come out here and look at it. Just amazing. I initially couldn't find this other petroglyph site, so I just enjoyed the scenery as I searched around for a while. But it turns out petroglyphs are found throughout the park. Upon walking up to some nearby rock walls, suddenly they appeared. So if I come up about right here, there are more petroglyphs on the rock face up there. Look at this, just more petroglyphs. In addition to graffiti from dumb humans in the present. Some subtle ones there, like a crescent shape. And then a few more over there. I am guessing the state park has them just, they're just littered in a bunch of locations. See more down here? Look at that. Okay, so let me just show you the part of the park that I'm in right now. Just look at that. So, yeah, amazing. 
Look at all this behind me. Crazy. Amazing.